Hello, I apologize when I put together the video for Cameo 3. You must love the children and help them. I must have forgotten to add one of the videos. Sometimes I break them up and then put them all together at the end. And of course, I've deleted them all at this point. So I have to re-record it, which is wonderful because I love being in this. But um, I'm going to probably start a little bit prior to where we left off. But better to be safe than sorry. Sorry, I'm moving all over. Just be, please bear with me. Okay. So this is a reference to something Helen wrote down the day before the course started coming through. And that's blurry, so let me try to get that. This is a reference to something Helen wrote down the day before the course started coming through. She asked Jesus to straighten out her perception of a past event that was causing her distress. In response, he said, In dying you live, but be sure you understand what this means. Whoops. This comment led her to think that she must be dying. This initially frightened her, but then she decided to just relax and enjoy it. She soon realized, however, that this was terribly selfish because Bill, her husband, Chip, and presumably others all needed her. So she ended up praying, first in regard to Bill, please let me stay and help him a while longer. And then more broadly prayed that I could stay as long, as long as I could help, and wouldn't it be wonderful? Jesus now commends her for this, saying that in offering her life for others, what you were really giving up was death. This is what in dying you live really means. He even likens her act to his own death, saying, And I said myself, greater love no man hath. This lofty praise of her efforts seems to have brought her to tears because he then says, Stop crying or you won't be fit to live now. Don't worry about Susie. You are helping Chip's readiness. And, and he did, question mark, and I'm going to lower this for a second. And he did than you with this one. This is unfair to you. Remember what you told him about Bobby. Chip is almost ready. Review your note from yesterday that your identification is strong but erratic. And that is why you have so much willpower but use it wrong at times. Bill was right about that misuse of it when you were sick. But it was a sign of superhuman will totally misdirected. Your body does not need it, but your spirit does. And I need it too. The guidance we have been looking at seems to jump around, but it is much more unified than it may at first appear. It paints a picture. As we said, <clears throat> at the start of a much larger journey of Helen's soul. Long ago, she was a, a child of light who in pure devotion to God's will loved and served his children. Now she needs to return to that identity. This may seem impossible for it was so long ago. And since that, that time, there was an interval of darkness in which she hated and hurt God's children. But that interval has been wiped away Jesus has canceled all the hate she ever expressed. He has healed the children she hurt before. Now there is literally nothing standing in the way of her becoming that child of light again. Now she can resume her ancient role of God's scribe. How can she do this? The Course has come to give her the answer. She therefore needs to stop treating it like a ticking bomb and look upon it as a gift that she can't wait to unwrap. It will teach her to stabilize her vacillating sense of identity. It will teach her to use her superhuman will, not in service to, of her body or her ego, but only in service of God's will. 
This means dedicating herself to giving miracles to the people in her life. She has been given a list of those who have thrown away their chalice of atonement and who were apparently aided in this by Helen, perhaps in her interval of darkness. Now she needs to hand them back their own chalice. She needs to be single-minded about giving them miracles. That is how she can fully undo the interval of darkness and become again the child of light. And she is beginning to do this very thing, as we saw with the touching story of her helping Chip release his hatred toward his father. All she needs to do is keep moving along the road that she has already started down. Thank you so much for joining with me.